coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. What can you say? Botting and stalking black bears up here in BC with Trophy West, and I'm gonna tell you, we've been hunting together for many years, huh? Wow. A long time, and I gotta tell you, it just keeps getting better. Hey, welcome to this week's show. This week, well, we're heading to, again, but we're heading directly opposite of last week. We're going northwest. Well, it's not actually northwest. directly opposite. We're going northwest. Directly, directly opposite. It would be southwest because we went northeast. It's northwest. You said directly opposite. BC, hey, Vancouver Island, we're going Trophy north. West. Trophy West, guys. Now, but yeah. Do you want to get it all out of there? Am I allowed to talk at all? You can proceed now. Thank you. You know, going up hunting with the guys from Trophy West, we always have so much fun. And this year we have Jeff and Ken as our guides, and we have a lot to go on. We've got our brownings with us again, and... Okay. Let's not waste any time. Let's go watch the show. <laughs> That's not gonna last. Man. <laughs> I'm sleeping outside tonight. Mm -hmm. After a long series of flights, Ralph and Vicki meet up with Jeff and Ken of Trophy West to make their journey back to the lodge. Getting there isn't that difficult, but it sure does take a lot of hours of flying. And once you're there, I have to tell you, it's a breathtaking experience each and every time. That island is gorgeous. It's the astonishing backdrop that is part of what sets Vancouver apart from the rest of Canada. From snow-capped mountains to charming organic waterfalls, BC is also recognized by many hunters as the world-class hunting destination for some of the finest big game hunting opportunities in North America. This area is geographically diverse and ranges from lush river estuaries and coastal beaches into river valleys covered in temperate rainforest to high mountain alpine, abundant with flourishing berry patches. This combination is the perfect terrain for both rifle and bow hunting for Trophy BC Black Bear. The new Sayward Lodge is situated on 68 acres in the heart of Sayward Valley, a low-lying area in northeastern Vancouver Island. Ralph and Vicki will be residing in a comfy guest house throughout the next week of hunting. And look forward to the familiar feeling of home the dwelling offers. We didn't waste much time. You know, we got in, we hurried up, we checked the rifles, wanted to make sure they were on. We grabbed our Brownings, our x -bolts, we headed down to the gun range, and we wanted to make sure we were sighted in. It's one of the things you have to be sure of, is when you go on an airplane or anywhere, any time you get to a new place that you're hunting, take a few shots, whether it's a rifle or a bow. Make sure that your sights did not move because you want to go out there and you want to be successful, but you also want to do it as ethically as you can. The bottom line is, when you get to a hunting camp, get out there, make sure everything's ready, and then you could take a breather. Because then you don't have to worry if something, you know, got, got mishandled or whatever. You, you have it, your confidence level is at the highest of high. Same with the guides, they're all pumped because they just saw you shoot. They know everything's gonna work out in the field. Thanks to Jeff and Kenny, they took us to the range, and we had, we, we just dialed it in. We were actually, both of us were shooting a hair to the right, dialed it, and we are, we're right where we need to be. And we know where we're, we are in the right place to be. BC, baby, Trophy West. You know, when you work with a top-notch outfitter, <laughs> you know, this situation... <laughs> and he handles it so well. Yes. <laughs> and he's so happy right now. He's sort of a big thing. <laughs> I'm on my knees for you, Ralph. I don't know what to say. With the rifle sighted in and ready for tomorrow's hunt, Glenn, the owner and one of the guides of Trophy West, whips up some appetizing steaks for dinner. Well, we just got here in BC and weather is not cooperating. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this time and we're gonna make sure that our browning crossbows are all ready to go. Side it, get in, get set up at 20 yards and uh, shoot it probably 20, 30, 40, and 50. Be ready to go when the rain stops. And honestly, our, our the best times, you know, what we've found in, well, probably about 15 years we've been hunting here is these, the afternoons. So we're in no rush. And that's the other thing. Guys, patience, man. Patience is what takes everything out that you're ever gonna hunt. So we're just gonna take it easy, get dialed in, and enjoy this wonderful BC weather. It's a windy day. Very windy. Yep, you see what he does to me? Bucket. Step. Well, first morning here at Trophy West, got an outfitter in BC. We just stopped to fill up the trucks at the gas station. The weather has gotten kind of cruddy outside. There's low ceiling, fog, rain, what else? You know, all kinds of crappy stuff. It's gonna be all day long, glassing these open cuts, looking for big black bears, and um, then putting a sneak in on them. So this is kind of cool. Once again, we're back up here at Trophy West Outfitters, and this is like one of our favorite bear homes. This is, this is cool. It's beautiful country. Maybe not so much right now with these big low gray clouds, but hey, we're gonna have a great time. So we're going around, we're doing some glassing, and we just saw, he, Ken just said, he goes, well, there's a fresh cut going on up right there, and as we, as he says it, we're watching the trees fall. So there's actually, what do they call the crew that's up uh, there? Fallers. They're the fallers. It's crazy, we've been sitting here for a few minutes now, and the size of those trees, from down here, you can tell how big they are just by looking at them, but to be up there, I can't even imagine. And it takes about five seconds before we can hear the actual crash of the tree falling. And they're busy up there, you can hear the chainsaws. It's leaning, there it goes. It's pretty cool to see. Big trees. Making new undergrowth for some critters too, huh? Yeah. Once they get that cleaned up, we'll have fresh undergrowth and a new place to spot bears from. Fresh feeds. Fresh feeds. So what we're doing is we're glassing these big open cuts. There's some fresh cuts, there's some older cuts that we can see with some new growth in them. And we actually spotted two bears. Ken kind of thinks they might have been um, maybe two young boars because they were, they were browning it up straight out that way, probably three miles away. You can't see them with the camera. You can barely see them with their binos, but this is what we're doing. We're glassing, trying to find something, figure out how we can get up on them close enough to take a shot. We were a little skeptical of the size of these bears uh, from the very beginning, but we didn't really have anything else to do. They, they were two smaller bears, but we decided we'd go try and have a look, but the roads were deactivated. Ken and the guys, they know the roads, they know how to get there, but the thing is, is over the winter time, sometimes they close those roads up, and wouldn't you know it, the road's been decommissioned. And yeah, no, we're not gonna try taking the road. There's no way. Now we just have to find one that we can actually get to. <laughs> well, if it was a great big bear and we knew it, we could get to it. Well, yeah. Now whether Chad could or not. Right, because we'd have to jog. So that hamstring might yeah. hold them up a bit. It, it could be, and we'd have to jog and jump over these logs, <laughs> you know, and then up and down and around. So yeah, we're gonna blame it on the camera guy. <laughs>
As Vicki and Ken continue their search for black bears, Ralph and Jeff have spotted a few of their own across the valley. To the left of that big island, yeah. right above that little island. Yeah. Okay, come straight to the left. You see there's another island. Yeah. island. Oh, yeah. Look. To the left of it. Yep. Yeah. He's a bigger bear, or it looks it from here. Just by the body, you know what I mean? You know what? Huh. It'd take us about half an hour to get over there, but we could run over there. It's nice to see them out this early. Yeah. We got we actually got two. Um Jeff spotted the one right in this fresh cut. I mean straight across the valley. And just as I'm looking, I spot another one to the left of him a couple hundred uh, a few hundred yards. Almost the same elevation. Having determined the approximate location of the bears, the crew packs up and begins the pursuit. We were across the valley and we spotted another bear when we saw the other two. And what we wanted to do looked like a pretty nice bear. So we got all the way over here and we're gonna take a hike and see. When everybody spots the bear, game on that you strategically, you're, tr you're making sure which way the wind, you're doing all these other things and you're gonna try to hurry up and get to that vantage point as fast as you can. And then from there, it's a hike. And whether it's up, it's down, whether it's cross, you know, across the mountain. The bottom line is you gotta get there and you gotta get the shot. You are full of adrenaline. It's a rush. So we get in closer on Ralph's bear. We have a good look at it, decide it's the bear we want. We're moving along the road, decide we're gonna go up into the slosh to get on a stump, get a really good rest, get into 176 yards, and Ralph lays the smack down on it. Hit him again, hit him again. 
Hit him again. Okay. Hit him again. That'll do her. Excellent shooting, Ralphie. Load another one in. Excellent shooting, pal. Excellent shooting. Woo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, buddy. Whew. Beautiful. What do you say? Unbelievable. We let the <laughs> we let the brownie do a little bit of speaking, and uh, he he didn't go ten yards, huh? No. Maybe. No, just spun around right there. Whoo, baby! Love it when a plant comes together. Trophy West. That's why we open up our spring bear season every year right here in BC. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Whoo! Great BC bear, look at them. <laughs> oh man, he's an old one, huh? Whoo, look at the size of this guy. Oh my gosh. Is that you, brother? What can you say? Spotting and stalking black bears up here in BC with Trophy West, and I'm gonna tell you. Wow, beautiful bear. Man, look at the size of those claws, huh? Whoo, big old chest on him. Yeah. No, sir. That's what you call an island bear? Thank you, brother. Thank you, Jeff. We've been hunting together for many years, huh? Yeah. A long time, and I gotta tell you, it just keeps getting better. The crew calls it a day and makes the drive back to camp where a hearty dinner awaits. But the hunting is far from over with Ralph still having one more tag and Vicky two tags. Well, first day back, Ralph, we got a bear this afternoon. We didn't, but we had some great times out there. We saw three bears. Four, maybe, no, three bears, and um, that was it. And the sun's finally coming out now, and it's the end of the day. So, tomorrow's another day. Congratulations. Thank you. How's it going? Good. You're showing your chest off to everyone on TV. What are you doing? I was relaxing. <laughs> you guys can't see that. If I could have everybody's attention, oh. we dive right into dinner here. <clears throat> Ralph, you've been here enough so you know what's supposed to take place. Yes, sir. But uh, it's been a long standing tradition with Trophy West. After the successful completion of a hunt, harvest of an animal, we'd like to present with the Trophy West Thank you. Golden Bear. Appreciate that. Congratulations. Thank you. Couldn't do without him. I would have rather have had Nikki. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just how it goes. Uh -huh. So I believe that um, Archer's Choice, Ralph and Vicky have been hunting with our, our business now for um, at least a dozen years they've been they've been up with us and it's always a lot of fun we look forward to meeting and greeting at the airport and just getting it started from there and it's like picking up where you left off the last year and we certainly have a lot of fun hunting with them and, and enjoy it I would way rather be hunting with Vicky though just to get that out there <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I love it. I, I mean, you know, when you can make it happen and you're, right. you're hiking and uh, it's those, those stumps, are, are, they look small. They are small. They're, they're taller than me. They are small. But you know what? You, you had your browning. You let it bark. You got yep. a beautiful black bear out there. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We'll have to wait until yours? next week. Oh. We'll see how it goes. But I mean, oh, the we drama. always have so much oh. fun when we're up there with Trophy West and, and all the guys. And this time, Glenn wasn't with us. We yep. had Jeff and Ken. Glenn and was on the boat. Yeah, on a boat and, hunt, and, so. Yep, and Jeff and Ken took care of us like gold. It they was did. awesome. They did. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, thanks for making your choice. The choice? <sighs> thanks for making your choice the choice. I, I struggle. <laughs> it's such we'll a... see you next week in BC. My turn. Struggle. 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 Struggle.